have in you. Alright. Sunday, uh, the last one of the day, geez. Around about the 14th, 15th, something like that. I don't know. Um, not much to update you on really. These are still green and in Albrecht. Um, there's one or two issues in here. I've took the covers off and well, I've just put the heaters back on. I did take them off. I've just put them back on um, because of what I'm seeing. I'll show you. Um, so, yeah, first issue if I can find it. It's just been under me now, isn't it? Now it's bugged off. Uh, see the lump on the side of that Makashi down there? That's come up in a wick. A little bit of redness to it now as well. That was um, that was the one I said was just a bruise, but yeah, a bit more than a bruise, I think. So that's the first issue. At the side of it, you'll see the big sank is lying down as well there. Because the heaters are off, it's just seven and a half degrees at the minute. We've got to have a, a bad frost tonight and maybe snow. This shower here. There you go, that shower there. Just take it into the tail. It's got a mark on the tail. Well, it's more than a mark, it's a block and also busted it out. Just on the tail. It's got a bit of fin rot. Just on that fin there, just on that front deck. That's Sankey. Where am I? This is all since cold weather. This was alright up until, until let's go weather. There's a male Sankey in here. Just going up there through the bubbles, just over the back. And that's got, if you remember from the old videos, I had a shower where the nose was coming off, rotted. This has got the same. At first, I thought it was just a bit of nose rub, but I don't know. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can't really see where it is. I could see from looking, but you can't see it on the phone. But there is. There's a mark on the front of her nose. That red bit is, is colour, what you can see on the phone. But just under that colour, there's, um, there's a mark on the nose. It's amazing how you come up this end, everything follows you up. So I don't know if you're getting it on here. Um, and there's a couple with marks on the lips, just little red marks on the lips. So it's telling me there's bacteria in here again, even though the aquaflavin's in. And I eat it with Vercon before the aquaflavin went in. Plus the salt in the water as well. I'm just worried it's all kicking off again. I've been sitting at 15 degrees, in all fairness, and then I took them down to 14. And I, what I was thinking is, with this pond, the covers were sitting on the pond, as you know, right across there. So you've only got sort of a two inch gap between the water and the covers. Now I think a mixture of the covers being on, the water being warm, the salt in the water, the Alperex in the water, and I don't think there was enough flow, airflow above the top of the pond if I'm honest, so I've took the covers off. I've dropped from a 90 degree on the return down there. I've come off a 90 degree, I've got two 45s. So, oh, here we go again. So the water now is pushing across the front here and creating, as you can see, a swirling motion on the bottom. And yeah, it's just like I'm going from bad to worse. I'm noticing white on that on that uh, Karashi Goy there. The, fr the front peck's gone white for some reason. It's, like, it's almost like car pox on the peck, but I know it ain't. Like a white patch. There's also that white scale on the shoulder as well, which I'm keeping an eye on. But several issues again. Several issues. Which are good. As I said, this shower. Danny's he's got a mark on his tail. Yeah. Can't see better from there, I don't know. Through the window. I'm actually looking now. I'm thinking I might both have a mark on the tail them showers. And I think they have. 
So that's the two of them. So looks like getting Chris, Chris down. He can uh, he can come and have a look for me and see what he thinks. I think there's some uh, some jobs got to be done. If I don't want to do it, I just don't want to lose everything again because otherwise I should just pack it up. I should give it neck. Knock the ponds down, give the missus the garden back, have a patio set up there. Just get all that knocked. Mind you saying about knocking it down. Yeah, I think I can shift that back off. I was at it yesterday again. Now, I've cut, as you know, I've cut this side of the wall. So that line. Where am I? That line there, all across there, that's the depth of a 9 inch blade. So in probably 4 inches in the wall. Um, so that's that's the depth of the 9 inch blade on this side and I've done the same on the other side. <coughs> of course here, because I've covered it up. But I did the same across here yesterday. And I piled hell out of it with that sledgehammer. And you know, I think it'd move. Just wouldn't shift. And then I had the Kango on it, Kango wouldn't shift it. In all fairness, it is, it is the thickest part of the pond. I got it up that top end. Why well, I made it that thick, oh, no, only God knows. But, uh, looks like getting a jackhammer in. My mate's got a jackhammer, so we'll give that a go. See if I can get that wall down. Once that wall's down, I can then crack on with, obviously, getting the concrete and stuff in. Which ain't an excuse, I just want it down out the road. Um, bro, I had Bez around yesterday to fetch his stuff, what, uh, what he won on the, uh, on the 700 subs giveaway, so, hope you're happy with that mate, and I've also today, been down to Walker Coy, I bought a couple of, a couple of ball valves, um, and then two ball valves, and for that, that Tempest, now that Tempest has got to go on this sleep pond, at the minute I'm just running on an easy pod. Um, you can see that lump on that fish now. I'm just getting one after I'm just thinking it's just a, a knock on from last year and the year before. It's just I have got a slow trickle going in. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Is it time to just eat neck? Maybe. Just don't ever seem to have any luck with them. The only luck I've ever had is that there. I'll just go fill them up, even at ambient temperature, which is around about 7 degrees at the minute. I'll just go fill them up. Yeah, show you. Oh, hello to the, uh, the couple who visited Walkers as well yesterday. I heard about you talking about me, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I've been yo. I know you're from around by me somewhere, but we don't know exactly where. But you never know, we might bump into one another one day. So, so I went down Rob's boat that today. That's got to go on this pond, on the sleeper pond at some point in the week. Just to give me a little bit extra bio. I've put one already on there, as you know, which is wrapped up in Bora. Um, and I thought, you know what, I don't like the shower. I'm never going to show a person. Never like the shower. Even though I bought a brand new one for that pond as well. So I thought, well, you know what, we'll try another Tempest on here. With the uh, with the easy pod. That's pretty much going to, well, I'll put a bit more K1 in there than what's in there. But that'll pretty much double up on the uh, on the bio once that matures. And talking to Rob today, I was also pondering, because I've got another filter, which is just sitting over there. Waiting for the main pond, which is down there, under them two lamps. Look, them two lamps I'm sitting on. The toilet is another story. Remember the bathroom ripped out? That's the new toilet there. Yeah. I used it yet because it's hard in the open. <laughs> so, that, that chamber there, that's that's the jack matching chamber. I think I've, I've probably covered that in the past. And what I said to Ross is the only way I could run that is by coming off this return, which is soon to have a tempest on. Coming off that, maybe taking a two-inch pipe over to that side, sticking a stage, and having that coming back over the over the pond. I don't fancy that, if I'm honest. But it's the only way I could run it. Um, but I think once these tempests on, we'll have enough more than enough bio. 
Uh, I'm in the heel straight, it's just a 10 piece running on its own anyway, straight, of it, straight out of a pond, so it's a standard arm filter as well. <coughs> I ain't so much worried about this bit, the quality and the clarity, I just want the bio. So it's just, you know, it was cheap enough at the end of the day, Rob's doing a good deal on him, so if you're after a 10 piece, give Rob, Rob Walker a call. Um, he's doing a good deal on him, a very good deal, so it's worth, it's worth tapping him up. So, yeah, pondering at whether to have another one, unless I just jack it in. Like, it's sort of swell and water, it means you can't know which road to turn with it. I've got that much stuff here. I mean, I've got brand new filters on order as well from the main pond. Well, they more pay for them, waiting to be shipped up from Burton's. So, they are all, uh, all ready to go, and then I'm having bloody issues with this. But, I've still got them. Like I said, I've still got these. And to be fair, there ain't a lot wrong with these at all. Nothing at all. Touch wood. Touch wood. These are my in temperature. I've just fed them, and as you can see, the food's all gone. These, I'm also. Let's take you around here. Here, look. New toilet. Look. Left out in the rain. These are also a in temperature. Um, they are feeding so much, but. There's a little bit of food in there. They will pick away at it. I'm going to get these covered back up tonight. Make sure these are okay. I'm a bit skittish because certainly fewer in numbers. It's uh, some nice fish in there to be fair. That's a lovely little shiro that is. Home bread. Home bread shiro. And hopefully in the summer I'm planning on doing a spawn if everything works out alright. But we'll see what happens. So... they are okay as well, they are alright in here, they've been having blood worm, I've been giving them some blood worm. And that's about it, that's about all I can update you on. I'll, uh, I've got to get my valves onto the Tempest. I am using the gate valves because I'm a bag of shit. So I'll use the unions, double unions. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. I might use them gate valves and put them on, take the inserts out and put them on there. Because I know the top one on there is gone. And it's a nightmare to get it to bubble. So, uh, so there we are. That's where I'm at at the minute. Sunday afternoon, my missus cooking the dinner, so I'm going in. I've just put the eaters back on these and I'll start getting the covers back on in a bit. Never good, is it? Never good. Tell you what, knock that air off. <sighs> Have you tried these uh, various switches yet? And good, you know. <clears throat> and good. What was that Makashi last in the week, if I'm honest? <clears throat> that one down here. Of course, that last in the week. It's unbelievable how that lump's come up on its side. You see the water pushing around now though. You don't even do that with the shower on, but it uh, seems a lot better now. I'm getting like, movement all around the pond now. I mean, it was alright with the shower on, but I was still conscious that the shower was just going straight back into the drain. And um, with that 90 degree elbow on, when I put the Alprex, it's like I said. The 90 degree was just pushing it straight down, straight down in the water, and you just see it go across the bottom and straight down into the rain. So I was conscious I would get in the flow around the pond. We're shifting now. And that's only on number two, on a 9,000 litre pool. <sighs> Time to lose a will. Trying to lose the wheel with it all now. I dread to think how much money I've lost again. So well, uh, there you go, and you know depressing as ever. Let's sink it in. Yeah, of course, see through the window. 
It's been far enough out. Seth's yes, got a, a bit of a nose rub, a bit of a bad and all. I'm just conscious with it because the last time I had that, I had a shower and basically it lost half its face. In front of the front part of its face, just rotted off, and I'm just conscious that's probably going to go the same. <sighs> Racked off eight. See that white thing on that Makashi? It's not even a Makashi, it's a bloody Karashi guy. Fifteen minutes of me talking shit and depressing you. Sorry about that. Nothing ever goes right. Nothing. Ah, there you go. Keep trying, down, Keep going. <clears throat> I'm all right. I'm on the round. I'm being quarantined on the round. I don't. <clears throat> I don't get messed about with. Which is probably 90% of the issue. Too much messing about. We'll bring them back. We'll catch you later. So while doing that uh, last bit of video, as you can see, I've put the covers back on. I've changed the inlet. Um, well, so I've changed it. I've slightly changed it. There's a 45 coming down and a rubber 45 now going shooting across and it's creating just a little bit of um, oxygen in the water. I've left little gaps in the covers, don't know if you can see them. There's little gaps in the covers. There's also a uh, 10mm gap under there. And obviously there's a gap around the pipe here. There's a gap around the pipe as well. So it is where it is. But I've, uh, I've put the eaters back on because it's got to go really cold tonight and I'm looking at these fish thinking there's a few more so I'm in the egg and a wheel in the cold weather bloody hell, more camera skills and shit are they? they really are um, so uh, that's my update for today or for this week there's nothing happening in all fairness as I said that wall's becoming a hard wall harder than I ever thought and I smacked the hell out of that with a bloody sledge on me yesterday they want to know. So I'm going to have a word with my mate, Gary Jack on down here. I'm going to see what we can do. I've covered them back up as well because there's going to be a frost tonight. These I'm already covered. I'll put some blocks of bloodworm in there for them as well. These, even though they're going to be in temperature, you just go fill them up. But they know what I'm saying. They seem to be pulling through the winter without a problem. No fairness. And where have I been? Oh, I've been down the gun club today as well to have a quick look. Not as I've seen spoke to anybody, I've just gone and had a quick look. Um, looks like I'm going to try and get out shooting my gun a little bit as well soon. I've got some rabbits and pheasants and stuff. Well, pheasants you call around, can you? But rabbits, pigeon, and good luck, pigeon. But, uh, but now that's it for me this week. Um, I'll upload this now, get it back, get it done. And uh, that's just a quick update from me. But as I said, that's my favourite tank. Love that tank, in all fairness. Then the caches have come on well. Well, everything has. As I've said before, probably not getting the, the growth I deserve. Them Shintaro shows I fetched last week and up and feeding well with the others as well. There's one of them just across there, look. Just over there. So they are feeding well, and everything's just happy, fine. But this is like I said, this one don't get messy too much. So maybe it's human intervention, what's buggering them up in there, and not so much flukes and chickadina or costier or whatever else. I don't know. But uh, yeah, sorry about the depressing content this week, guys. I might do a water change on these now, thinking about it. They had one on Thursday. They had one on Thursday, then barrels are now full of water. That's been bubbling away since then. 
now Sunday. So if I do them today, that'll be again Wednesday or Thursday when I do them again. So there you go. I'm going to have my dinner first and see how I feel. Well, that's it. Catch you all later. Thanks for everybody who watches and all the new subscribers. Um, it's a privilege to keep bringing you these. Well, not these depressing videos, but these videos, even though they're out at me. Hence that. But there you go. Right, catch you later.